step in. Mm-hmm. All right. I can't control the volume of my voice. <laughs> Let's go. Welcome to Game Day Battle, where Cleveland sports news meets biased and outspoken opinion. Super Bowl 46 is over. Giants ran. Giants beat the Patriots. And um, Tom Brady denied again. Belichick denied again. All thanks to Eli and company. So we're going to get into that. We're going to keep the show simple today. We're going to do a lot with uh, the Super Bowl, then maybe a little bit with Cavs. I think we can kind of stop there because there's enough to go with uh, just on those two topics. Um, before we go any further, though, Brett Finnegan. DST. What's up, man? Yeah, I know you're, uh, you're top, feeling it tonight. Top, top of the sports world. Yeah. Celebrating that Super Bowl win. I'm just still... Still in shock and ecstatic from the whole thing. It's just great. Literally. Time. He was wearing this last night. I don't think he slept. <laughs> I might not have. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Felix, Ramon Torres. That's right. I know uh, you kind of hate the G-men, but uh, a little... Yeah. Little... Oh, huh? Careful. Man. I hate them huh? less than I do the Patriots. Hates all right. Hates a strong. All right. But, uh, <laughs> well, before... I just dislike him. All right, all right. Well, let's, uh, <laughs> let's just kick it all off with the Super Bowl. Okay, so the Giants won, yes, the Giants beat the Patriots. Um, I think we all picked the Giants, that's very cool. But let's just talk about the biggest enchilada. Eli, is Eli as good as Tom? Can we put Eli on the same level as Tom Brady? Should he be in the same conversation? Is he there now? So, uh, Dan, we're going to open it up with you and uh, uh, put that uh, put that as kind of the main question. But also, I'd like to get everybody's takes. You know, what you, what you thought of the game compared to the Super Bowls? What you thought you, compared to what you were expecting to see? You know, just throw it all out there. Uh, I, I definitely have to say that Eli is is definitely in the elite status right now. Better than Tom Brady, uh, career wise, probably not yet. He's got a lot of time, but clutch game wise, I mean, he's beaten them twice. They beat him once in the regular seasons. Last three times they've played each other, Eli's come out victorious. And what a great performance we saw from him in the Super Bowl. He just, he is Mr. Cool the whole way down. You know, he, he doesn't yep. let you show that he's shook or, 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 or any kind of weakness. I mean, 30 for 40, 296 yards, a touchdown, turnover free. I mean, what more can you ask from the leader and captain of your football team, you know? He may not be the biggest talker or locker room leader, but he backs up his talk with play on the field. And when it comes down to it, that's all that matters. And he definitely led this team. Uh, props to Tom Coughlin for really getting this team together and, and getting them hot at the right time. And what a run these guys went on to go to go and do what they did. It's very reminiscent to the 2007 year. But uh, I just they're, – they're so young, these playmakers that they have on offense. And, you know, we knew Hakeem Nix was going to get hit. His. They did a good job uh, of uh, trying to double team Victor Cruz and take Took him out Cruz of the equation. Yeah. You know, he, he, he had that it's touchdown TV. early. Yeah. Yep. But aside from that, I mean, he was almost a non-factor, and it was who else was going to step up? You know, Mario Manningham with you know a, a legendary play. I mean, I know you've already heard it, but you're going to be seeing that catch again. And that's for, that's a boy from Warren, Ohio. Uh, so, uh, so a Buckeye State, Buckeye Man- State, or at least Manning to Manningham. It's you know, it's a, who writes this stuff? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You wouldn't believe it. If it- what a catch, though. Can, I, can, can everybody concur on yeah, that? I outstanding mean, a catch. Centi- a centimeter second or a, se- a half a second either way. And, you know, it's a beautiful throw. I don't know if it was a better throw or a better catch. It, it was a beautiful throw. I think a dumb throw, really. He's throwing in the double coverage yeah. on the sideline. He's got nowhere to go. If it's not yeah. perfect, it's an interception Absolutely. probably. Mm-hmm. It was perfect. So, cool. He yeah. did it. Absolutely. But that's that's what Eli does. Is He, he really makes what, what look to be dumb throws. But maybe he's seeing the game a little faster than we are, you know, and he's... He he knows that what he can do, and he knows how he can you know spiral it through the uh, through the coverage. Yep. And so you know he he can do it, I guess, better than we can see it, and that's uh, that's pretty impressive. Well, well Brett, um, if you had a choice right now to pick one or the other, Brady or Eli, I'm not talking about career wise. How about right now, if you could take one quarterback for the next season? Oh, I'd pick Eli Manning. You know he's, he. He's seen the most poised out there. He's seen the most, the most in control of his team, of his offense. And like I said, you know, the first half went super fast. Like, I, I couldn't believe by the time it was halftime already. And, you know, Eli, got to give props to him. He deserves the MVP. You know, I thought it was going to be either him or Manningham because of that catch. Um, and I was glad to see Eli get the MVP. And, you know, I you had to pick Eli in this game. You had to. And you always take the quarterback. Big catches. Almost always, you're going to get the quarterback. The, oh yeah, uh, 
you know, Def- definitely needed to be in that eight to ten catch reason to be yeah. considered for a uh, uh, Super Bowl MVP. Or yeah, or some crazy touchdown, you know, like three touchdowns or something if, like that. If that catch would have been a touchdown, maybe. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe. Well, Ramon, uh, I'll throw the question to you as well. If you had the opportunity to pick one of the quarterbacks, let's say for the Browns for next year, um, Brady, Eli. Well, <clears throat> two different, you know, age. You know, the age differential is, you know, I'll take Tom Brady in his prime. No, now, I'm talking, you know I'm what talking right now. If you had to pick one of these guys to lead your team next year for one year, what would, who would it be? Oh, he's, I'm, you're going to have to say it, man. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, he's, he's trying not to. Are we talking about our, what our receiving core? I, I definitely I think I would go with Tom Brady because he makes stars out of nobody. So does cheating. No, even when he has nobody to work with, All right. you never heard of you never heard of Wes Welker. He comes out of nowhere. Yep, Rikowski, Hernandez, like all these people, you never heard of any of these guys. All of a sudden, they get out of Patriots and he, they're catching forty touchdowns and all you know, just ridiculous stuff. You know, you won't see, you know, this out of you know some regular quarterback. He knows what to do you and know? when to do it. Exactly, it makes a big the difference. Game winning drives he has, and you know. I'm not taking anything away from Eli. I just don't think he's up there yet with the Tom Brady's of the of the leagues. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, how many how many more game winning Super Bowl drives does he need? I don't know if he need maybe two more. Oh man! <laughs> I mean, you got to put him up there right now. No, he's not up there right now. He's talking about is, guys, is, is, a guy been to five Tom Super Bowls. Brady twice. Five Super Bowls though. Yeah, come on now. Well, but as Dale said. A lot of that was built on cheating. I mean, from, yeah, but from still, 2000 to 2008 at least. Five Super Bowls. It's not hard to win when you know what play the defense is calling. Yeah. Five Super Bowls. You won three. You know, just all his all his stats just puts him up there with the the Dan Marinos and the and the Joe Montanas and stuff like that. He's already up there. Dan Marino like, never won a ring. Yeah, but just elite quarterbacks like that. I think that it's going to take a while for him to be up there. All right, so you're, you, oh, okay, so he's, you're saying he's not elite. Is he at least in the room yet? Is he's he in hanging the, out he's in, in the room, room just because of Super Bowl wins. So he's not, he's not on the dais, but he's, he's in the yeah, room. Yeah, he's in the room, but just because of Super Bowl wins. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff that goes on with the Super Bowls, more than just the game itself. Uh, Commercials. We all look for the commercials. I, I got to say, personally, I think that this year especially and over the last few years, it's kind of been a deterioration, you know. It, it used to be so big, and it used to be the biggest part of a lot of the games. Yeah. I think the games are getting better. The commercials are getting a little bit lazy. Still some unique and creative stuff, so I thought it'd be fun. We can just um, kind of throw out our favorites. Uh, Brett, I know uh, I know your favorite, the, the Naked Eminem. Yeah, that was... Uh with Mrs. Brown. Uh, you had some dreams political. about that last night, right? I did. Huh? I did. Just cover myself in chocolate. Oh. All right, we've heard enough. Uh, Cut me out. This is where I go. Like, up. Yeah. <laughs> Two guys laughed because they thought she was naked, and then the red guy, the red Eminem, came in and was like, How oh, is my kind of party? And takes a shell off and was sexy, I'm, and I don't know it. Yep. Which wiggle, they did, wiggle, yeah. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yeah. It's pretty funny. He did throw a wiggle in. He did. Mm-hmm. He threw a wiggle in. A little chocolate. You gotta have it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that, mind. that like was it. creative. That was fun, and uh, I, I like that one a lot. Uh, DST. Uh, there were a couple good ones out there. I don't think any of them were worth what these companies paid to put them out there. Three and mm-hmm. a half million dollars for a mm-hmm. thirty-second spot when all the problems and debt this country's in. But uh, mm-hmm. aside from that, I'd probably <laughs> say the uh, Camaro. I like the graduation present for uh, where, Debbie Downer uh, over here. Where they had the uh, the mini fridge out by the sidewalk, and a kid comes out and thinks they got him uh, the Camaro. He starts going crazy, and all of his friends are there going yeah. nuts. He, his girlfriend's like, "Let's get married. We're getting married." And the parents are like, "Should we tell him?" And the old guy comes in, and he's like, "Mr. Johnson just stole my car." I thought it was pretty good. It's a good one. It was, it was well acted too. I mean, actually, it could have been a very annoying, stupid commercial, yeah. but eh, yeah. they, they pulled it off. So Chevy with a little gem in there. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, they yeah they had a few few commercials. That was probably the only notable one that I can think of. Uh, my favorite. I'm I'm so easy. Honestly, you could just like show a picture of Darth Vader and be like, yes, I'm there. <laughs> 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 yeah, 
you know what? I'll own that completely, totally. <laughs> this weekend, oh yeah, about three or four times, I'll probably see the 3D oh, movie that I've seen a million times already. So, um, but yeah, the Darth Vader, they're in Lost Eisley, and they're they're talking about the commercials from uh, you know the past and the uh, you know the kid, and of course Darth Vader hears it, and I don't know why Darth Vader's in Lost Eisley, really, because if you're a geek, you know that wouldn't wouldn't happen. But anyway, um, you're gonna be going, you're gonna be going to that movie Han Solo. <laughs> no, no. <I'm> <laughs> the girl will go with me, but uh, get her those, get her those Princess Leia earmuffs for uh, for Showtime. That and nothing else, huh? <laughs> I'm there. That's for me, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, God, I hope she doesn't watch this. So, anyway, <laughs> that's where I'll be this weekend. That was my favorite uh, favorite commercial, Ramon. Uh, Bridgestone. They got that uh, the football. Yeah, the football with the made out of the tire oh, uh, rubber. Yeah, yeah. You know, I got to see some of my uh, favorite players. Deion Sanders was in there, and um, Troy Aikman, one of my favorite quarterbacks. Um, with like a slice. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, throw it out there like sweet. a boomerang effect. You know, <laughs> yeah, around. that was that was pretty cool. You know, De- Deion, went, that's not even fair. <laughs> I mean, you know, incorporating you know football with the actual Super Bowl. I like to see commercials like that that involve something with the game, and that was pretty cool. You know, a different idea. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bring back the Bud Bowl. What happened yeah, to that? Yeah. Yeah. I like to see a whole game of him, and it shouldn't come down in the fourth quarter. Well, okay, yeah, 30 for 40 is great. Where are the points? That's what I'm yeah. saying. Like, the yeah, game I mean, got, the they, game they got stagnant the... after a while. Like, okay, what happened to their offense? Like, the first... Uh, Driving a game, I'm like, oh shit, these guys, they, they, ain't, ain't nobody even stopping them. You know, ten yards oh. here, five yards here, Safety. another ten. Yeah, like, yeah. come on. And then all of a sudden, it was like, oh, they lost their game, man. What's going on? Well, the first half, I don't know the exact numbers. Maybe you have them, Dale. But uh, time of possession in the first half wasn't it like twice as much? Uh, I don't, I don't have it by half, but for the game, uh, the Giants held the ball 37 minutes to New England's 22. So, which is huge already. It's three fifths of the game, right there. Yeah. And, and, and to end up at the end of the first half with nine points, really having the ball for the majority of the half, yeah, eh, it's pretty pathetic. Yeah. You know, and, and we talked a lot about how uh, the Patriots have a, a poor defense, uh, 31st, I think, in the league throughout the season. They were 15th, I think, in the league for giving up points. So the, the Patriots behaved exactly as they have all season long, which is usually good enough for them to win a few games. Mm-hmm. In fact, ten in a row coming into this. Right. So um, that's it's significant, but it makes you question a little bit the the red zone poise of of your boy Eli. If they were able to get there, or at least move the ball into the area and not get points on the board, they were in the red zone twice, and they scored twice. Both times they were in the red zone, they scored touchdowns. So whether it was Eli Manning, you know, it's not just one guy on the team, you know. Right, they, they had a rushing touchdown. They were trying to control the clock. It, yeah. was, it wasn't a situation where they were trying to pass the ball. Had it would, maybe he would have had two touchdowns. But that was also a gimme touchdown, so I don't know if we're going to be counting that as, you know, being big in the red zone. Well, I call it big in the red zone when the touchdown puts you in the lead in the Super Bowl. Well, yeah. Uh, and yeah, when, but it's when, also, whether or not, hold on. Whether yeah. or not the defense <laughs> Walk right in. <laughs> there you go. Well, hey, man. I mean, well, it's part of Belichick's game plan, so I don't know if I would be calling that – which, we know. Okay, that, that's fine, but the they, reason it was, they got the ball. What, five minutes left on the clock, five something on the clock? <laughs> they, mar- they marched down the entire drive. Man. Exactly. They marched down the whole well, field, the, point. Bro. the reason it mattered, the reason it was like this, because they ate up the entire clock on an 80 yard drive. Is that what it was? Yeah, 80 yards or something like that? So it, it was, it, they set that up. They put Bill Check in that situation. 